Hey, Pelham Band family, it's Mr. Ward. As many of you can guess by the um, bombardment of information that you are receiving and are about to receive, we have been given permission to go ahead and conduct a lot of our events that were previously scheduled for the months of April and May. It's very important this time that we do go ahead and move forward with those items, even if they don't happen in the traditional sense, um, so that we do not fall further behind uh, and we can continue to be prepared for the upcoming fall and marching season and school year, should all of that happen according to plan. So I want to go through a few items with you today just to make sure we're all on the same page. You'll also be receiving all of this information shortly uh, via uh, an email. Also, there will be, it will all be posted on the website, pelhamband.com under the news section, and it should say COVID-19 update. And that will also be texted to you and sent via uh, Remind and social media as well. So you have all the information that you need. There's still lots of details to be planned, of course, for all of these events. Um, so we, uh, the staff, are continuing to work through those items and provide the, the most information we can. But right now, we need to put the information out to you in kind of an introductory sense. So we're going to touch base on a lot of items in the next few minutes, um, including everything that affects students who are going to be auditioning for the visual ensemble all the way to our marching eighth graders to our new members um, to our seniors as well so i encourage you to to listen to the video we'll try to be as succinct as possible uh, the first item we are holding class meetings on monday which is tomorrow <clears throat> the purpose of these meetings is simply just to um, meet with our current students check in and make sure they're okay but to also cover these items with them, make sure they have access to the information that we're providing, and also to uh, answer any questions that they may have. So you've received correspondence about that. Um, tomorrow, the links will be in the Google Classroom to sign into Google Meet. Uh, when Ensemble will be at 11 a.m., Symphonic Band will be at 11.30, the Visual Ensemble will be at 12, all of our percussionists currently at the high school will be at 12.30. And then we will have also two um, class meetings. These links will be in the Pelham Park Middle School Band Google Classroom. And if you have questions about that, please email Mrs. Moore and she can get you signed up. At 1 o'clock, we'll be doing a chat with all of our new members who will be at the high school next year as ninth graders. So rising ninth graders to answer their questions and make sure that they know what's going on and they're comfortable um, with it as well. And then at 1.30, we'll be having a meeting also in Google Classroom for all of our potential marching eighth graders, current students who are currently in seventh grade who would be interested in marching up with us in eighth grade um, to cover that process with them and answer questions as well. So that's the purpose of tomorrow's meetings. On Thursday of this week, we'll be having um, an instrument check-in and check-out. This is very important and really affects uh, a large number of our students in the visual ensemble and in the, the band classes. We have to conduct our annual inventory, so we have to see all of our equipment account for it. So if you have any equipment that is owned by Pelham High School, whether that is an instrument, whether concert or marching, whether it's visual ensemble equipment, such as a flag, weapon, prop, anything that you borrowed, if you have a wind ensemble folder, um, anything like that must come back to us. It will also be an opportunity for you to clean out your locker in the band room and get any personal belongings in there. We know that there's been information communicated out by Dr. Wilbanks um, that may have suggested band equipment would be included in the day she has allotted, but we want to... Uh, have ours on this Thursday from 8 to 12 so we can accomplish a lot of things at once. We will be reissuing that equipment. So if you need a flag for the Visual Ensemble trots, whether you have one and you need to reissue it, or whether you don't have one, whether you need a marching instrument like a baritone, a mellophone, a sousaphone to practice over the summer, um, we will be checking those items out as well. So we'll be getting everything back in and then we'll be sending stuff out the same day that you need. Please report to the band room. We encourage you to wear a mask, maintain social distancing of six feet apart um, so you don't congregate together. We will let limited number of people into the band room area at a time. So just be patient. That will be from 8 to 12 on Thursday. If you have questions, please let us know. But all equipment must come back, and then we will recheck out what needs to go back to you for the summer. 
Um, concert ensemble evaluations. Typically, we would hear all of our students play to determine who will go into symphonic band and who will go into wind ensemble as those are ability-based performance classes and ensembles. So we have to conduct that. We've done that via Google Classroom before. We will be doing that again this time. So on Tuesday, uh, May the 12th at 10 a.m., we will post in those Google Classrooms, the percussion, symphonic band, and wind ensemble. We will post materials for you to prepare. You'll have seven days to prepare, to record yourself, and upload. It will be a brief audition. It will not be anything that will overwhelm you. For the wind players, will consist of scales, um, and then also prepared etude or exercise percussion. It will consist of prepared uh, materials on snare drum, so you can use materials you already have at home. But every single student who's going to be a part of our band program next year, um, who is returning, must complete that audition. For any student who will be in ninth grade next year, you do not have to complete that audition unless you want to be considered for wind ensemble, um, which is perfectly fine. We would love to uh, hear you play and, and see if that's where you need to be. Mrs. Moore will be communicating out via her Google Classroom and email those materials to you at the same time on Tuesday. But that has to be completed. is not optional for anyone returning to our program. On Saturday, May 16th at 7 p.m., we'll be holding a virtual band banquet. Um, this is a, a new concept um, that we've seen some of our friends do and we wanted to do as well. It's very important that we find some type of closure at this point of the year where we normally would, um, particularly for our seniors and really for all of us before we start moving on to the next school year. So we will be, um, we will have a presentation. Uh, there will be a link emailed out to you. Um, we're still working out the details with the band staff that will be emailed out to you so you can view that on Saturday, May 16th at 7 p.m. We'll include a lot of our normal events from a year of the uh, end of the year address um, to some comments from our staff members, as well as our Who's Who Awards, our traditional band awards, such as our Outstanding Musician, Visual Ensemble Performers. Uh, we'll be awarding those. We'll also be recognizing our seniors at that time, sharing some information um, that they provided to us. And then we will be um, provide a way for you to see the end of the year band video um, that Jesse Clopton has worked so hard on. So that will happen on S Saturday, May 16th. We do still want to find a way to get all of our seniors together um, to be able to say goodbye to them and recognize them. Um, we're still looking at that as things um, become available to us and we get more information on what's feasible and permissible. We will do everything we can to still do that and get as many people together as possible. But it's still important for us to go ahead and do this now before graduation and summer. Visual ensemble tryouts, um, we'll discuss this more with them in their class meeting. Ms. Swan has done a, a wonderful job emailing out to all the folks who are interested. Um, we're also posting to see if there are any more folks who are interested in trying out for the visual ensemble. These auditions will also be done virtually. Um, right now, the most important thing is find the information that was texted out to you via Remind. Also post the flyer was posted on social media. Ms. Swan has also emailed it out and will also be posted on all the Pelham City Schools, Pelham High School um, social media accounts as well. Register for the new Google Classroom for the Visual Ensemble tryouts. Follow the information on there as far as completing the form to register. And then you have other hard copy forms that have to be filled out and signed in a registration fee. So that's what you have to do to be registered. And then just be in attendance for the virtual meeting on Sunday, May 17th at 3 p.m. We'll cover all the other information you need about the trial and the expectations um, on that date. So at this point, you don't really need to know anything more other than if you want to try out for the visual ensemble, register, sign up for the Google Classroom, register, follow the instructions to the T, and make sure that you're signed up. Um, and that has to be completed by the tryout meeting. So you have approximately one week from today to be able to complete that. If there are any questions, please email Ms. Swan, jswan at pelhamcityschools.org. Our leadership team, we typically have already conducted our leadership team tryouts uh, at this time, and so we will be doing that virtually as well. So once again, same pr procedures as the visual ensemble. There's a specific lead team tryout. Um, Google Classroom that you will need to register for, also included in the emails we're going to send out on the website 
was also sent out in a separate flyer via social media, uh, Remind, etc. This does not include the visual ensemble. Um, folks who want to be selected for that component of our leadership team, that will be conducted in conjunction with our tryouts. More information will be shared at the tryout meeting. But for the, the musicians who wish to be in positions such as drum major, captain, um, etc., please sign up for the Google Classroom using the code that's been provided to you. If you have any questions about any of this, please email us and we'll get you signed up. Follow the registration as well. There is a, a Google form you have to fill out to be registered and then be in attendance for the first tryout meeting slash clinic on Tuesday, May 19th, 3 to 5 p.m. The link will be posted in that Google Classroom so we can meet once again. Um, a couple more items, but I will say if you have any issues with technology, I know we have worked out the majority of the kinks um, with, with the majority of our students at the high school. If you have any issues with technology or anything prevents you from accessing any of this information, please email me jward at pelhamcityschools.org. We'll do everything we can to get you this information. Make sure you're a part of all of the tryouts, assessments, evaluations, etc. Um, and the band banquet will do everything we can to get you the information. Um, so please don't hesitate to do that. Two more items uh, for all of our percussionists who will be at the high school next year. This includes uh, anyone who is going to be in grades 9 through 12 next year. We have to do our percussion evaluations to decide who will be in the front ensemble, who will be on the battery percussion, and who will play which instrument within that so that our instrumentation is set so we can continue our preparations for the fall. We can also get you instruments, get you music, and get you practicing over the summer so that we can catch up and keep moving forward. That is going to be conducted in, as of now, in person uh, at Pelham High School on June 10th through the 12th. Um, the times will still be determined or still to be determined simply because we're waiting to see how many people we can gather together at one time. Even if it's only 10, we have a plan to bring people in in shifts throughout those three days um, so that we can accomplish what we need to. Information will be communicated out to you via Google Classroom, via email, about materials that you will need to prepare ahead of time so you can be evaluated on those and we can put you in the position to be the most successful um, throughout the fall and the remainder of the year. Any student who's interested in marching up as an eighth grader next year, um, we will have those assessments, uh, clinic and assessment. We'll teach you how to march. We'll walk you through everything. That will be conducted on Monday and Tuesday, uh, June 8th and 9th, also in person at Pelham High School. Mrs. Moore has sent out detailed information about that. You'll have music that you have to prepare as well and submit a recording of you playing that music um, by June 9th. And then we will teach you how to march on the 8th and the 9th and evaluate um, to see if this is going to be an activity that you're going to be successful uh, with as an 8th grader for next year. So lots of information. Um, there's going to be lots more coming out. I know it's a bit overwhelming. It's even overwhelming for me. And this is what I do all day, every day. Um, however, please just take one thing at a time. I encourage you, go to PelhamBand.com, click on calendar. All Everything we have outlined is on there. Also, all the information we've covered in detail is on pelhamband.com. Click on News, COVID-19 Update. Um, all the information is on there. We have also will have emailed this out to you, sent links via Remind and social media. So that's the way we're communicating out everything. And the Google Classrooms are absolutely paramount in posting material, sending material, submitting material, and forms. Uh, as well. So I encourage you to stay up to date um, as much as you can. Please help us out by completing these items um, when they're due. We are running on a very tight schedule to be able to get all of this done by the end of the school year and then a few items in the first week of June as we had already planned. As of now, our plan is to move forward with our band camp and all of our activities in July as planned. Uh, of course, we'll receive additional guidance from the State Department of Education as well as our school district. We will follow those guidelines to the T. We will be flexible. Um, and we do understand that we plan to do those activities as planned now and to start school on time and to have football and marching band. Um, those are our hopes and our wishes. But whatever happens, we will be flexible. We will adjust and adapt the schedule um, the, the best that we can. So, 
once again, trying to get lots of stuff um, moving forward so we can wrap up by the end of the school year. Also that first week in June for our percussionists and our marching eighth graders, then we can all enjoy summer and hopefully return together on the middle of July. Those dates are also at pelhamband.com. So more information to follow. If you have any questions or concerns, you're welcome to email any of the staff members. If it's anything um, music related, I would encourage you to email myself, jward at pelhamcityschools.com. If it's visual ensemble, I would encourage you to email Ms. Swan, our visual ensemble coordinator, jswan, um, two N's at pelhamcityschool.com. And um, we will help you out in any way we can. Thank you so very much and have a wonderful day. We look forward to seeing all of our students tomorrow in our class meetings to answer questions uh, and address these items as well.